Hey everybody. I've taught you fractions of sets using algebra as a technique in one of our videos. I'm going to show you using multiplication and division as a technique in this video because multiplication is one of the things that we need to do for fourth grade. So in this case, one half of 20. Well, what we're going to do is we're going to pretend every time we see of, it becomes a multiplication sign. So we're saying one half times 20. And this is where we let the kids in on a little secret that every single whole number you've ever seen in your whole life is actually a fraction. We just don't tell you when you're little because we don't, we don't want to blow your mind. We're trying to build you up to this point. Now you're ready to know. So in this case, it's over 1. So every whole number you've ever seen has an invisible 1 underneath it that we just didn't tell you about because we didn't want to mess you up when you were little. When we multiply, we multiply straight across just like we would normally do anything. So in this case, it's 1 times 20 is 20. 2 times 1 is 2. So we have a fraction 20 over 2. But we've also learned that this fraction line is another way of saying divide. So 20 divided by 2 is actually 10. And when the kids look at this, we go, so is 1 half of 20 10? Yeah. Okay, that technique works. Let's try it on this one. We see of means to multiply. 1 times 100 is 100. 2 times 1 is 2. And that's a division problem again. 100 divided by 2. Sophie is Thomas, it is time to leave. Sophie Thomas. Let's look at some of the other problems we have here. I have 16 students, one fourth are going to pass fourth grade. How many are going to pass fourth grade? One fourth of 16. It's another fraction of problem. So we're going to do multiply when we see of, and there's our invisible one. Now let's multiply across. One times 16 is 16. Four times one is four, and it's a division problem again. 16 divided by four is four. One fourth of 16 is 4, so I have four groups of 4. That makes sense there. So one of those groups is going to be 4. Four kids are passing. I'm going to jump ahead and look at this problem here because now we're finally changing that numerator to a 3 instead of a 1. You find with this multiplication technique, it's pretty easy until all of a sudden we start changing this on you. So let's set it up. 3 times 16. Well, that traditionally isn't a problem that we just have in our head. So we have to actually work that one out. 16 times 3, 8 down, carry the plus 1. 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 is 4. So our top of our fraction is 48. 8 times 1 is 8. And there's our division problem. 8 divided by 8, or 48 divided by 8, is going to be 6. 3 eighths of 16 is 6. And let's jump down to our Wiseman down below here. And you'll see once again, when we start changing the numerator, we get really big math problems here when we use the multiplication technique. 6 times 36. That's definitely one we need to work out. Six down, carry our three. 18, 21. 216 is our numerator, and our denominator is six. And now we've got to do 216 divided by six to turn this back into our whole number. Six does not go into a two. Six goes into a 21 three times. Six goes into a 36 six times. And with no remainder, that is the same thing as 36, which makes sense. Six six of 36 is 36. One whole pizza, and this is eaten, another one whole pizza. Let's do this last one here. 
So a fraction of means multiply. 5 times 20 is 100. 4. And this is one where we can start seeing and go, okay, let's pretend that's a dollar. If I broke a dollar into four pieces, that's going to be a quarter each, 25 cents. And if we look here, and our 25 should be bigger than our 20. It should be bigger than our group because this is an improper fraction, a not proper fraction. It's greater than the whole group. And 25 is greater than our whole group of 20. So this is the other way of doing these problems using multiplication and division. You can see they get a little cumbersome if you have larger numbers, but it's a nice way of introducing multiplication and fractions, which is one of the standards that we hit in fourth grade.